Om Shanti, welcome to 2nd of October's Golly Blessing. Supreme Father has given us a very important lesson and very important guidance or direction in order to understand what are the reasons for anger to come within us, what are the facts that actually make us feel angry and how can we find them in a very subtle manner, check our beliefs, check our nature, check our character, check our responses and see how it develops within us and catch it at the right time. So God says, may you remain free from anger by also remaining free from selfishness, jealousy and irritation. Now, these are very important three aspects which lead to anger. So God says, may you may give some ideas and offer yourself for doing service. Now, this is something which can be related to your family members, you're giving ideas to them, uh, guiding them or suppose as a senior or whatsoever, or your colleagues or your friends or even your boss or even your subordinates. And then what happens? So you may give some ideas and offer yourself for doing service. Now in a spiritual uh, aspect, you're offering to do service. I'll do this. And uh, then what happens? But do not let those ideas change into desires. That's what God is saying. Now we have to check that. The most important when it gets converted into a desire that I said this, it should happen this way. Or why didn't they do it? Why didn't they listen to me? When your thoughts change into a desire, you then have irritation. How? If it's not accepted, if it is not given heed to, if it is not given importance to, if it is not something which has been uh, uh, given any importance and has not been applied and has not been uh, adhered to, then we have irritation. Just offer your ideas altruistically and as it is said and we have learnt also that when you do some karma, don't expect any results. Now, we generally believe that when we have given something in financial way or in a physical way and somebody doesn't say thank you, we are supposed to accept that. But God says even words are also your actions. So if you give some idea to someone, that is also an action. Even your breathing is an action. So just offer your ideas altruistically in any field, family, friends, colleagues, your boss, your subordinates, even your own spiritual uh, uh, brotherhood, where you are giving ideas, God says, give ideas altruistically and offer yourself altruistically, not with selfish motives. Do not think that because you said it, it has to happen. I said it, people should believe it. It has to happen my way. No. Offer yourself, but do not go into why or what. Why it wasn't accepted? What happened? Why didn't they listen to me? What did they do instead of that? Why and what? No, it should not come to our mind. Then the other companions in the form of jealousy and dislike will come if you get into the selfish motive. That my words, my idea should be accepted. And when, especially when it fails or it doesn't happen the way it's supposed to happen, then you end up telling 10 other people that, see, I told them. I had told them. Now this is ego. This is a form of irritation. This is a form of jealousy. This is a form of uh, getting angry. It's a very subtle form of anger. Then the other companions in the form of jealousy and dislike will come. Anger also arises out of selfishness and jealousy. So now become free from this. Very important. Go into depth of it. Understand it. And listen to it again. And introspect in meditation. Om Shanti.